Hello and welcome to another episode of Is That Trophy Worth It? The series where we take a look at tr platinum trophies and we ask the question of if you, yourself, should earn them as well. And today we are looking at a free online game called Brawlhalla. This is an arena brawler commonly associated with games like uh, Super Smash Bros. or um, Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl. It is, and if you do like Smash Bros, chances are you will like this. Um, obviously has its own differences. Uh, each character has two weapon types uh, that you can pick up on, on, on the, in the game. And um, each weapon type has its own set of combos. Uh, and the, the gimmick is that every character in the game ha is different in what the uh, the weapons they have are. So it might be a sword and a scythe, a cannon and a sword, a uh, fucking bow and a spear. You know, it's like you, you just you get random things. So that means there is also a play style for everyone. Uh, I don't remember the character I played, but I remember that they had a bow. That's about it. <laughs> uh, I remember playing with a scythe as well. Um, obviously, the game is going to be very different from when I played it because I last played it uh, probably like five years ago now. I want to say <laughs> so. It's been a minute. That's why I can't really remember any of the characters. Though they weren't so. I think, I think Ember might be one of the characters. Maybe. Yeah, so Brawlhalla. Back to Brawlhalla. I was just reading that I got my first trophy two days after the game came out, which I was surprised at. Um, yeah, so this is an entirely online game where you can play with your friends in custom games, and I do recommend doing that if you have fr fr some friends to play it with. Um, and you do have to play in 2v2 queues and such, which I don't know if you can solo queue for. If you don't, then you do need a friend to complete this with. However, if you don't, then it's fine. Uh, you do also have to play ranked. The ranked queues, you have to win um, at least a few games of ranked. Uh, there's there's winner ranked 1v1 with uh, red damage on your last stock five times. Um, win a ranked 1v1 without losing any lives three times. So you have to play ranked at least for a few trophies. And... So that's always annoying, having to play a ranked game mode. Uh, I'm like, well, to be fair, if you're playing it only for trophies, you won't probably care about your rank, so it's not actually that bad. Now, Brawlhalla does have one DLC, although it's not really DLC, it's more that the, the game gets free DLC, so it's as new stuff is added, it gets trophies assigned to it. So, for example, uh, reaching level 10 with a Canning Legend, Orb Legend, and Greatsword Legend, because that's a new weapon type, then they've been added later. Um, what I will say is that you do have to get a uh, rank down with at least one of each of the uh, base base weapons, so there's quite a few of them, so you'll find someone you enjoy for each of them, I'm sure. you have, to, And one of the more grindy trophies, because there are quite a few grindy trophies, this is a very grindy game, uh, is reach level 10 with 10 legends. And I think there's 10 different weapon types. So if you do it right, you'll, well, you, you, you get two weapon types per, so you probably actually get five legends. But you'll definitely get it by 10, or at least you should. Um, one of the other gl glitchy trophies, not glitchy, grindy trophies, is reaching the count level 40. As you play it, this will come with time. It took me about two weeks to get from level 30 to level 40, so it's... Quite a grind, but you'll get there in, in enough time. And I mean, I haven't even mentioned the actual platinum percentage and stuff. I just kind of naturally went into the talking about the uh, the grindy aspect. So uh, the platinum percentage is two point five two on PSN profiles and one on um, PSN. It is one of my rarer trophies, obviously because it's a popular game that. Uh, that not everyone goes for the platinum in, so it's lower. Um, it took me three months, three weeks, and two days to complete. So it's not a short platinum. You can definitely do it faster than I, I did. But I got really bored for about probably the last month, and it was really a grind to play. Um, 
And if you do need help with some of the trophies, there are boosting sessions that happen on PSN profiles. But honestly, none of the trophies are so hard that you won't be able to do them by yourself. It's just uh, it's better to play with someone in it. I know the most the most grindy trophy in the game is the one that I haven't mentioned yet. Midas Touch, a hundred thousand gold. You only get like a minuscule amount of gold per game. It takes forever. There's a reason why it's a three point nine one percent percent trophy. It is painful to get. It took me over a month to get it from the fifty k. So it's not. It's not a great, like, uh, great trophy to have to grind for. I really wish I didn't have to grind for it all the time that I did. Um, yeah, so that is the, the trophy list is really, really annoying. Uh, it's, I'm gonna give the trophy list itself like a three out of ten, like, it's really not enjoyable. I would not recommend platinum in this game. But the gameplay itself is probably a 7 out of 10. It's like it's a good arena brawler. I recommend playing it with some friends, you know. Maybe having a game night as such. It is good for that. But it's not good for a platinum, which is what we really look at. So, as such, 3 out of 10, I think I said, and 7 out of 10. So, not a great, great, but definitely worth playing. And... I don't have much else to say because it is self-explanatory most of the game. So that has been it for today's video. I'll see you next time. Peace.